things with our formulas that make it different from other brands is that a lot of other companies, they will their template for making food and what we consider balanced in the pet food industry is flawed, in my opinion. When we started making dog and cat food, um, it was basically in like the 30s, around that time. It, earlier than that, there were a few things, but pretty much less become it became more um, prevalent and commonplace for people to feed uh, commercially prepared foods and not fresh whole foods we were preparing at home for us and for our animals. Um, it was made with the needs of industry. Industry had these, uh, you know, the grain industry had little scraps of things and stuff that they wanted to get rid of that they weren't able to incorporate into their products that they were using for humans. So they thought, well, if we take this, add it to meat, put it through an extruder, this is sort of this uh, machine that heats it up to a really high temperature and pops out these little pellets, we can keep it on the shelf for a really long time. This is back when we were starting to make TV dinners, we were starting to make, you know, like, it was like atomic food and, you know, modern technology and it was all super exciting for everybody, but uh, not really the best thing when it comes to our health. They looked at what industry needed and they created a template of what pet food should be based on industry's needs, not based on the needs of a dog and a cat. They never looked at what a dog needs and what a cat needs and then built a diet from there. They looked at what their needs were and built a diet from there. So it was from the wrong perspective in my opinion and that template is flawed. And so we, even as early raw feeders, we were following what was completely balanced based on this flawed template. And so it, when you're going through an extruding, your extrusion process and you're making pet food like kibble and those types of foods, you have to use a minimum of about, it's, it's an average of 50% carbohydrates. Now, dogs and cats have zero, zero requirement for carbohydrates, and so, and they can, are incredibly harmful. We're learning more and more about how harmful those are. And so, um, that's something that you don't need at all, but that's something that was um, involved with the determination of what's considered balance. And so, a lot of, the, even the raw food companies that you buy things from, they'll use 20, 30, 40, even sometimes up to 50% vegetables added to the meals. They do things like carrots and beets and, and high glycemic veggies, which I don't think are safe for a lot of animals and um, less and less safe for animals uh, the more we learn about what's best for them um, with, with regards to cancer and longevity. So um, what, what they were doing and what a lot of other people are doing is looking at what they're, you know, it was completely balanced within the industry standard, but what I'm looking at is what is what an animal really needs. And so I add in just 5% my Vitality Blend, 5% the seafood, just enough to boost the nutrition or enhance the nutrition of the whole animal, but the whole animal is really what your animal needs. And so I don't want to take away from that or derive the nutrition from what they really need, which is the meat, the bones, the organs, um, all the organs. People say, oh, what about the vitamins and minerals? The organs are your vitamins and minerals. And um, when you're looking at putting together your diet for your animals, the organs and getting clean, healthy organs, in particular the liver, you gotta make sure you get a really clean liver. Uh, you don't wanna buy that from a, a poor source because that's where a lot of the toxins will be stored in the fat and in the liver. So um, getting healthy, clean organs and using those for your vitamins and minerals, um, then that's gonna be an important part of putting a diet together. And that's what I did when I did my uh, formulas. It was basically looking to nature and looking at what I've learned over all these years and one of my favorite mentors have been doing for a long time and incorporated all of that into the formula that I thought would be a perfect ideal food.